What's going on guys? Got something different for you today. We're going to do a pickup swap. Got my Kramer Beretta Special. We're going to put a Zebra Seymour Duncan JB in it. And I've got a Seymour Duncan 500K pot. We're going to install that as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to run step by step through this process. This is a guitar we're going to do it to done a bunch of mods to it. I'll put a link in the description of that video. Today, we're going to put a pickup in it. It's been about a year since I've owned it and it's time to change the strings and I thought it was time to do a pickup. So let's do this. So I'm going to try to go through this and explain as best as possible what I'm doing. I don't have multiple cameras where I can get down close into it, but this is a pretty straightforward process with one pickup, one volume knob, no tone, no selector switch. <clears throat> I'll put links in the video description for everything that I've put into this so you can check it out yourself. So what we're going to do first is we've got to remove the old pot out of it. So let's see. I'm going to have to desolder some of these. And of course, these factory joints are kind of a little bit of a pain in the neck. Got to get the heat to it really well. Kind of did a little bit of prepping by taking the strings off of it. I did a fret polish in. Clean it up really well. Yeah, these factory joints are pretty solid. I gotta get the heat to it. Stubborn. I thought I was going to have an issue with this. You have to just cut the wires. Cooperate. Come on, too. I've done this multiple times to guitars, and sometimes they come right off, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you just got to keep the heat to it. Solder on there to heat it up, maybe. Hmm. It's not cooperating.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna just clip them. If I can get in there, I need some clippers. Here, clip these wires. They should come out no problem. So let's try this again. <clears throat> There's one. And then watch the paint. There's the other. All right. There we go. So now we're ready to take the pot out. <clears throat> so we can just flip this around carefully. And take this. Out here. It's a little bit hot. Okay. Yeah, watch out when you're taking that out, that gets a little bit warm. I'm trying to put this on because I'm gonna I gotta take the jumper wire off of here. That little jumper wire, I got to take that off and install it on the new pot. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here is, a rag, put this across the guitar so we don't do any damage. And we're going to take the old pot and I've got some needle nose, vice grips, and just kind of clamp onto that so I can hold it. I'll set it down in here. And then I'm going to take this little jumper off here because we're going to use it on the new pot. <clears throat> How well this is going to work either. My soldering iron is just not getting hot enough for those factory solder joints. There it is. Hold on. Almost. There it is. Okay. Yeah, these can be a little bit stubborn because these factory solder joints are really tough to get loose. There it is. Okay, so there's our little jumper that we've got. We're gonna use that on the new pot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the new pot and see on the old one, we've got dab a solder here, here, and here. We're gonna put that on the new pot 
to prep it. Then we're gonna put this little jumper on. This on here to hold it. All right, so then, show you this, so we'll set that there so you can kind of see. <clears throat> So we're gonna put a little bit of solder here. That spot there. Put some in this spot right here. And then we're gonna use this right here for our jumper. Just like that. All right, so now what we're also going to do is we're going to prep the holes in this and put a little solder so when we go to put our wires in, it settles right into place. A little bit there. A little bit there. A little on there. And then when you're done, it's prepped and I've got the three spots on the top already prepped for when we put it in so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our little jumper wire for our ground in there so we'll take it from this side first and we'll go in here There's one side of it. And the other side. Take this down a little bit. And jump it right onto there. Let's keep this up. Then it's going to look a little something like that. See the little jumper on there? All right. Now be careful because it is going to be a little bit warm when to the touch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install it into the body of the guitar. <clears throat> um, you're going to have, see the nut on there? You're going to have the nut on there and then you're going to take that little star washer and put that on. That's so that it sets into the wood on the inside. <clears throat> inside the hole just like that we may have an issue here we may have an issue this hole I think is not large enough it is not. 
Okay, so we've got an issue here. The shaft of this is larger than the shaft on the stock one, and we're gonna have to ream the hole out a little bit. So give me one second. I am going to get a rat tail file to ream this out real quick. <clears throat> I got a rat tail file. Um, some guys may use a drill, is what it is. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the hole and we're gonna just kinda clean it out a little bit. Trying not to go too far in and then we're gonna test it and see where we're at. Okay, so I can already feel that it's it's starting to settle into the hole, so it's not gonna take much more. got it working now didn't take very much to go because it was just off a little bit yep there it is right there all right there you go it was just a little little tiny bit with that red tail file it was coming handy this is a really super old school one I've had in my toolbox forever all right so now what we're gonna do now that we've got the the pot prepped the hole prepped, we're gonna turn this around, we're gonna take the stock pickup out of it and get the pickup prepped and the wire run through the channel. Let's see, where's my screwdriver here? Also, if you notice, when I ran the rad tail file through there, it didn't do anything to the paint. I did it from the inside. Just be very careful with it. Take a little bit out, try it a little bit out, try it. <clears throat> this is just for this particular guitar. Other guitars, it may slip right into the hole. This is actually the first time I've ever really had to do this. <clears throat> so. Stock pick about. There we go. This top. So now what we need is we're gonna have the new springs, which in the bottom of this will come with some springs and screws. We're gonna put those in there as well. I tried to have this video prepped so that it didn't lag on forever because this is just a real basic install, so it shouldn't take that long. But you never know what you're gonna run across as far as issues. All right, so let's see. We're gonna take, I guess we gotta put the stock one out of here, out of the ring. Remember they're spring loaded. <clears throat> Doesn't go flying everywhere on you do a little bit on both sides until they come out. Just 
one. There's the other. All right, so. Now we've got the JB. And we're going to, let's see, where are these? Get rid of the stock screws. I always find this is one of the trickiest parts of this whole process because of these springs. got it right away that's unbelievable <laughs> all right wow it worked right away that easy all right thank goodness all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the wires through the channel just kind of put them together all together and then feed them through the channel yeah they pop out the bottom I'm gonna set this right in here carefully Actually, while I got this out, let me wipe around the paint and the finish. That area. <laughs> All right, then we're going to put the pickup ring screws back in. Never tighten these too tight. They just need to be lightly snug. You don't want to crack your pickup ring. Remember, these are just plastic. And then the pickup height, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. We're going to measure that after we get it restrung as part of the dialing in process. But this video is really all about just swapping out the pickup and rewiring it, kind of explaining what I do, how I do it. Everybody, I'm sure, does it a little differently. But th these are the basics. Um, when I bought the pickup, brand new in the case, uh, it comes with a wiring diagram. The only thing is, is the wiring diagram that it comes with is your traditional two or four knob, like whether you have two volumes, two tones, whatever the situation is. Um, it did not have one volume, one humbucker. So if you go to the Seymour Duncan website, you can um, print out or download the, uh, the proper wiring diagram. I did that and I am going to explain it to you as I go through it. All right. That's pretty good. Let me get this thing out of the way. All right, that's what it looks like so far. So now we're gonna put our pot into it. <clears throat> On this one, I am actually going to have to remove the nut in order for the shaft to be long enough because it's just, 
shaft looks a little bit shorter. It's not, it's the same size. I think the other nut that was on the other one maybe is shorter. Let's try that. Let me see if I can use the... Oh, you know what? Okay, so that's it there. So they actually put the large, so... Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So there is a nut that you can put down in there to take up some of the space, or you can take the nut off and put just the washer in. That's all I'm going to use the washer. And that will allow me to have enough thread for a washer and a nut on top. So, carefully do this, like this. Yeah, just like that's perfect. Depending on the width of your body and the top cap, you may have to make an adjustment or two. But that's what we're doing. We're just going to leave the one nut off of there. <clears throat> it's not a big deal. All right. So now, let me see if I can't get this uh, tightened. This little wire is in here a little bit more if you run with the soldering iron. There's our ground from our body, stripped and ready to go. Just looking at this for a second. Now we're going to need to put uh, these wires. Okay, so these are the wires coming out of the pickup. So this is going to be the next part of the process. <clears throat> So we are going to identify the red and the white wire because we are going to tie those together. So there's your red and your white. I don't know if you can see these are red and white here. So we're going to take those two. We're just going to spin the bare wire together like this. And then we're going to take and tin it with the soldering iron. Take a little bit of solder over it to kind of hold it together. And then we're going to put a little shrink hose over top of it. My soldering iron is not getting hot today for some reason. Let's try something else real quick. this down on top of the guitar. Always cover your guitar so you don't get the hot solder. I've learned this the hard way a couple times. All right, there we go. See, I use those needle nose uh, vice grips. This way it kind of holds that in place. <clears throat> Just little tricks of the trade. A little solder on your iron. 
and then just run it up there. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to tin that just like so. So now that we have those wires in place, we're going to separate the other three wires that are on here and then spin them together and you know, just twirl them a little bit because then we're going to tin these as well so that they'll stick better when we go to make contact with the pot. Um, Looks like the black wire. So our black wire is going to go to our lug of our pot and then the green and the ground are going to get tied together and tinned as well. So let's spin those. We'll tin those. <clears throat> and then we're going to put some heat shrink on this other one. We'll put a little tinning on this one as well. So, all right, so now we're going to put on the red and the white, we're going to put heat shrink too. Um, you can get this. I got these at Lowe's. The whole box, some they last forever. <clears throat> so we're going to cut a little tiny piece to put over top of that. You can use electrical tape if that's all you have. I prefer to use the shrink on it. So we'll cut a little piece off there. Okay, big. So a piece in here for a rainy day. All right, and then we're gonna put this over the red and the white. Where's my tweezers? There you go. So we'll put that over there like that. Sometimes you can use a soldering iron, sometimes you can use just a lighter. Whatever you have will work. I think it goes faster with a lighter. My air conditioning just kicked on, so the flame is going everywhere. I'm burning my fingers. that. So now, take this off of here. Make sure it's not burning. All right, so now I kind of wish I had another camera so I could get down in the hole, really show you what's going on. You can't really see from that angle, but basically I'm going to take the green and the ground from the wiring from the pickup, and I'm going to put that to the top of one of those solder points on the top of the pot and then this black lug black i'm sorry this black wire is going to go to the let me double check to make sure i got this right yeah so it's going to go to the the outside lug of the pot the middle lug is going to get your input jack for your guitar and then also your ground, which will go on the top. So, <clears throat> get my set up back in. Keep that lug up and put that black wire in there first. Take 
actually going to, before I do that, I'm gonna take the ground from the guitar that comes out of the body. I'm gonna put that right to the pot right now while I can get in there and I can see it because it's a very tiny wire. It's not sticking. Hold on, I can't see. Here, that's better. This side on the wire needs to be retinned. There we go. Now we'll attach it to the pot. back to the green and the ground wire going to the top of the pot. Soldering iron is just not cooperating today. So there's your green and ground to the top of the pot. The black is going to the outside lug, one outside lug. You got your other outside lug grounded to the top of the pot. And now all we need to do is ground the input jack and go to the middle lug with this, the input jack. So I'm going to put the white wire into the lug first. I feel that that's the best way to get it. Hold on to me. This is not cooperating. Let's see what's uh Yeah, I don't know how well this video is translating. Um I might be making it harder than it really is. I don't really know. I was doing this, so I thought I'd throw the camera on and kind of just run through the process of what I'm doing, how I do this. Like I said, everybody does it a little bit differently. It's honestly not that difficult. <clears throat> it's just work, you gotta know how to use a soldering iron and be able to work in like little tight spots, which can be a little bit frustrating, but it's not that big of a deal. Let me get this angled like this. We are on our last solder point, and then we can plug a guitar cable in here and see if we're gonna get some sound or not.
right. I think that that is it. So we've got the ground wire coming out of the body, going to the top of the pot. We've got the input jack going to the middle lug. Also, the ground going to the top of the pot. We've got a jumper on the outside leg going to the pot. And then on the other side, we've got the green and ground wire going to the top of the pot. And then the black wire is going into the lug with the red and the white tied together and shrink wrapped. And that, my friends, should be it. So let's flip this around. Hang tight real quick. Let me get a guitar cable and see if we get any sound out of it. So they typically tell you, you can test it like this. Turn your volume up. Yeah, we've got sound. That's awesome. Okay. Everything checks out. So if you turn your volume like you would turn it off, nothing there. Turn it up. There you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Turn this amp off real quick. All right. Um, I don't know how well you can see inside of there, but there's my solder joints and kind of like what it looks like. It's not pretty. Not perfect by no means, but it works. And this video is basically to help you, the normal Joe, <laughs> install a pickup without having to bring it to a guitar shop to do it because it's really not that difficult. I am going to put a little uh, I've got some zip ties, so I want to make it look all pretty on the inside of that cavity a little bit. So I'm going to take a zip tie and come in here around these cables and pull them together to kind of make it look professional looking. Honestly, my solder joints don't look that bad. And that's all there is to it. I'll put all the links in the video description of what we use to install this thing. Um, I've got a video of me unboxing this with a whole bunch of parts that I used to mod it out. This was the last mod. I thought I would just run a video showing you guys how, how to install one of these pickups. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, restring it, tidy it all up, and uh, do the rest of the setup. But... Um, Put a comment down below. Let me know if you've uh, installed a pickup before or if you have this particular guitar. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, we'll have a conversation about it down below. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Also, check me out on TikTok. Still trying to get a 1,000 followers on TikTok so we can go live and do some fun stuff. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you next time.